Hello folks, this has gone spy. The spy will come to you live for Star Wars Knights for Public, the Sith Lords Act 3. And now, we are going to be making our way to... to the old Jedi Enclave where the Jedi Masters are gathered there. Both Master Vrug, Master Kavar, and Master Says Kyle, where we'll be able to discuss on how we're going to be able to deal with the Sith. And be able to get some answers about the Force spawn and everything. And about why I lost the Force in the first place. This is the plan of what... Uh, this is the plan of the deal that... That Atrus and I had come to an agreement about. So right now, I'm going to be taking with me... Uh, Kreia and... And handmaid with me. I think the masters will want to uh, get to know Kreia. Seeing that she is a Jedi Master and that she is my teacher. And she has very different points of views of right and wrong. I know where the Jedi Enclave is at. Check out the, the lady with the Jedi artifacts and items before we go any further. I heard you were responsible for driving the mercenaries off this rock. That's good. Dantooine was getting too crowded for my taste. I've still got some Jedi junk left to sell. You buying? I am. I just remember I was already able to manage to uh, get most of this off screen. Hmm. All right. <laughs> you know, before this became a settler's place, this area point is where Revan has gone spy had encountered the calf hounds for the first time when he rediscovered his connection to the force and began his Jedi training again. This is it. Oh my god, look at it. It wasn't like that when we arrived here. It's almost been fully prepared. Almost like it was before its destruction. And that door is open. It was the, the log to win when I last checked it. This confirms it. The Jedi Masters are inside of the Enclave. Springs 
back a lot of memories doing this. Right over there in that corner is where I first met this guy who I was with as called a spy, Revan, a Jedi a old coot named Nemo. Let's do this. I'm going to need to save the game before going any further. used to be a big tree there. It was beautiful. For me in conversations, I'm going to need to remove this mask. You speak as if you had been here before, Cryum. I know which of the council chambers is that straight up ahead, behind that tree. Kraya? What's wrong? Are you okay? Hold it. You're afraid? Yes. Afraid for you. As I always have been, I will be fine here. Whatever answers the council have are for you. Is there anything wrong, Krayum? We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Elders do need to rest some at now times. Much may happen here, but above all, do not forget this. You may trust in me. We cradle each other's lives, and what threatens one of us threatens us both. And if you find you cannot trust me, Thank you. Masters? Brooke says Kyle, Kavar, as promised. I'm not here for revenge. I do need answers. Why did you uh, cast me out of the order? We cast you out of the order because you followed Revan to war. There was no other reason. No, there was another. You had become different somehow, changed. The war had changed you. You were no longer a Jedi, but we cannot tell you why. Some explanations mean nothing unless the one who suffers comes to the answer on their own. What had happened to you was punishment enough, and the Jedi do not kill their prisoners. And if you had stayed, 
changed you. Masters, I do not understand. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Wait. Mira said that uh, she had never killed before. And Bador said that uh, he has taken a likeness. My companions, you speak of them. What about them? I don't understand. This this can't be what you're saying. Are you saying I'm controlling them somehow, influentially? It is not an easy thing to explain. Sure you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding. What? Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the force. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. Oh my god. I'm... How, how can this happen? So, are you telling me all those deaths at Melkor 5? We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars, the screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity and annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet. Too much for any Jedi to endure, and it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with, struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. You had hints of it in the war on Doxum. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. the force Kreia, my teacher, she she spoke of something that she too saw something within me she said that when she saw Revan she saw the heart of the force but when she saw me she sees the death of the force is this what you spoke of what you are saying and what she spoke of, that is connected, but it's still, I don't understand any of this. I can still feel the force again. I reestablished my connection back on Paragus. I can feel it more strongly than ever. You 
transmit your pain, your suffering through the Force. Within you, we see something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What do you mean? What you carry may mean the death of the Force and the death of the Jedi. But, no, I do not believe this. I could still feel me, and yet I could still feel the Force more strongly than I ever was. So you think it is not the strength of a Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you caused to get here. Death. Feed at it, and you grow stronger. You're like Malachor. It's in you. It's what you are now. You must have noticed as you fought across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? But what's worse is that bonding you have. It hasn't gone away. It's gotten stronger. And the more attachments you form, the more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. No! 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 It makes no sense! I'm no threat to you! What do you mean? What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if there was a crucible that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you, Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is the Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. Or are you saying? God. Oh my God. I. I've noticed something different when, when I struck down every every adversary, every thug, every Sith, every. Dark Jedi. I. I. I did this. The Sith was able to be able to accomplish much death because they've learned something from me. I am responsible for everything that has happened. You saying the Sith was able to gain much strength because of me? Because of what? Because of me cutting off from the Force? That I did to myself and the others that travel with me. They can't act upon their own will, their own instincts because, because of me. I, I don't want, I never wanted this. Okay. Okay, if this, if this is the sole reason why this is happening, how the Sith gained this much momentum, why the others are like this, then I will submit to this. I accept. Do what you must. I will not fight you. Do what you must. Kraya? What are you doing, Kraya? Fuck! Come on! 
cover you know, Kreia? Wait, Malcor? Yes. What? I don't understand. Kreia, don't hurt them! Don't hurt them! No! Rook! Kavar! Siskayel! How could you do this? I never imagined. This is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the force, and still live. But I see what happens now. Kreia? You? It's because you were afraid. Kreia? I won't let you get away with this. What? No! I won't let you leave! I gain a new power of the light side, Force Enlightenment. But, Frog, Master Kavar, says Kael. No! No! No. Is what I saw is true? She used the dark side power. Life drain. It drains, says Kyle's life. She killed him. No. No! Brook. No. His body is at lifeless too. No. No! This wasn't supposed to happen. Kavar. Freya. It was her all along. She Sif. It had she has to be. The third party that was in the shadows. Aside from Vesis' master, aside from Darth Sion, the beast, the betrayer. It was Kreia all along. No! How could she have done this? But if she's gone, but there's only one place she could have gone. The others? Where's Hemming? I gotta look through the area of the place before leaving. God damn it! She used to be? She is the reason? No. I am the reason why the Sif gained strength. How they were able to strike through the Force. All of this is all my fault. Again. I failed again. 
but not this time. return to the Ebon Hawk, but first I need to put a stop to your direct these messages, folks. So this has gone by the spies. Sign off for now.